we are now on my PC desktop. And in order to get to walmart.com, we first have to click on a browser. And in this case, I'm gonna click on Google Chrome and that's gonna open me up to the internet. So let me give that a click. Here I am at Google's homepage. I'm gonna go right up here to my address bar, give that a click and type in walmart.com. I hit my enter key on my keyboard and it brings me directly to Walmart's homepage. From here on the homepage, I can scroll down, see if there's anything in particular that might be of interest to me immediately. But in most cases, I'm gonna use the search bar that's at the very top of the page. I simply click on that search bar and I can type in any item that I'm looking for at Walmart. So in this case, I'm looking for, uh, actually I'm looking for baby booties for my godson. So I can type in baby booties and scroll down, here we go, here we go, baby booties for boys. So I give that a click. And that brings me to a page where there are lots and lots and lots of baby booties for boys. So I can just kind of, oh, here's kind of a fun pair. So let me click on this pair. When I click on it, it brings me to a dedicated page for just that particular item. And shows me the price. I can actually look at the back of it and the top of it. So I can just kind of mouse over these as well. I can zoom in and see the detail. I can scroll down on the page to read a little bit more about this item. Instructions for how to take care of that. It also shows me some other items I'm interested in. If I think those are great, I can simply choose the size. So in this case, I'm gonna choose five to six, and I'm gonna add it to my cart. When I've added it to my cart, you can see right up here in the upper right hand corner, it says one, meaning I have one item in my cart. If I'm all done, I can check out, but I'm not done yet, so I wanna search for maybe, let's do one more item a new toaster. So let me type in the word toaster. Oh boy, there's going to be a lot. And I'm looking for, oh, let's just kind of see. Now we'll go for the four slice. So I'm going to click on that one. And again, I've got lots of choices. In fact, there are 120 <laughs> choices to choose from. I can kind of scroll down here again. I can look on the left side and choose by price or choose by brand. So let's say, oh, I kind of like this red one. It's kind of cool. Let me click on that. I can look at the different features. I say, well, it's not quite right for me. So I'm going to hit the back button that's up here in the left hand corner. That brings me back to my main choices. And let's just go, let's try this one, this Toastmaster. Okay, I take a look at it, look at the different features. Here's some description about it. I think about it, I decide, okay, let's go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna add it to my cart. Now I've got two items in my cart and I think I'm ready to check out. So let me click on checkout. Now this is where I either have to uh, create a Walmart account or I can just shop as, as kind of a, a one-time purchase. So in this case, I don't really wanna create an account I just want to go ahead and purchase the item uh, without any hassle. So I'm going to click on continue. 
tells me it can be delivered by this date and by this date. So I do want to have it delivered. So I'm going to hit continue. And this is where I have to enter some personal information. And again, I'm looking up here and there is a padlock. If I click on that, it also tells me HTTPS. So I know I'm on a secure page and I can enter my personal information. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my first name, my last name, my street address, and I'm just going to make something up here for our purposes here. And phone number. Again, I'm going to make up a phone number. City. So Rochester. And that's going to be New York. So I scroll down to New York. Type in my zip code. And I have to give them an email address as well. So I'm going to type in my email address for purposes of today. I'm going to type in my demo email address. And before I hit continue, it's really important that I deselect this button. Otherwise, if it's checked, I'm going to receive a whole bunch of junk email from Walmart, and I don't want to do that. So I make sure that that box is not checked. Check everything out. I hit continue. Oh, it says here uh, with that new zip code at, uh, added, it changed my delivery dates and pickup which that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And now it comes down to credit card information and payment options. I, it's currently selected as credit card, but I can also pay with a gift card if I have a gift card or more options. If I click on more, I can uh, pay with PayPal or Visa or my Chase card and so on. But this is where I'm going to stop. So I'm not going to enter this information. But let's pretend I did. I enter in my credit card information and so on. I hit review order. Once I hit review order, it's going to give me one last opportunity to make sure that everything is correct that I've typed in. And then I'm going to hit a button that says place order. And then that order has been placed. And I can expect to to receive those items uh, on the dates that were given to me. I will also receive a email confirmation letting me know that the order has been placed and that I'm good to go. The Walmart website also has a section, a very special section that's dedicated to grocery shopping and if I go up into the upper right hand here you'll see a little icon that looks like a little carton of milk I can click on that and that will bring me to the Walmart grocery store. And here, if you're uh, familiar with Instacart, uh, it's kind of the same concept here where I can basically just choose the items that I'm looking to add to my cart. I can search for items in particular. There's a search bar that I can type in specific items that I'm looking for and simply add them to my cart. At this time, I'm not going to do a demonstration of the Walmart grocery section. I think that could probably be its own tutorial. But thanks for joining me here. And I've just got a few more things that I want to share with you before we wrap up. Another option that's available for you is to download the Walmart app on your mobile device or tablet. 
Um, I have my iPad here, but you can download it on your iPhone, or if you have an Android phone or tablet, you can also do it that way. I would do that by simply tapping on the App Store app. And that brings me right to the very first page, which is referred to as the Today page. But I'm going to skip this. I'm going to go right along the bottom here. And I'm going to go and tap on Search. And when I tap on Search, it brings me to my search bar. And I can tap on that, and I can type in Walmart. And then hit the blue Search button, and it will search for the Walmart app. Okay. So as you can see here, it looks like we've got one, two, three different Walmart apps. Um, looks like this one here is specific for Walmart grocery shopping. Um, so we can download that one. But I'm going to go down and download this main one here for Walmart. And as a reminder, any app that says get next to it means that it is free. So I'm going to tap on Get, it tells me that it's going to use my Touch ID to install, so in this case I'm going to place my finger over my Home button on my iPad and it will read my fingerprint to prove that it's me and it will start to download the Walmart app. And you'll see here in a little bit, there'll be a blue dot. And as soon as that blue dot forms a circle, that means the app has been downloaded. Okay, the app is almost downloaded. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit longer than others. It really just depends on your, the speed of your internet connection. And there we go. So now that app is now downloaded onto my iPad. So I'm going to tap on my home button and we're going to see where the app is located on my page. Probably on the last, there it is right there. So right there is my Walmart app. So to get started I'm just going to tap on the Walmart app. Now oh, it says welcome to Walmart. Uh, you can place your orders. It kind of just gives you a little tutorial here what you can do and so on. I'm going to hit get started and it says here uh, enable or disable notifications. I'm actually going to skip this. I don't want to be notified from Walmart. Uh, it can get very annoying lots of times if you enable notifications. So I'm going to skip that in the upper right corner. Share my location. Uh, this is helpful. Um, because uh, I want to be able to find the, the nearest Walmart close to me. So I'm going to tap it, my zip code, and I'm going to tap right there and type in, and then tap on search. The next page that pops up allows me to shop at the main Walmart, or if I want to do my grocery shopping, at Walmart I can do that. So really there was no need to download the separate Walmart grocery shopping app. I can do both within the same app. But I want to get started um, so I'm going to hit sign in. Even though I don't have an account yet, um, uh, this is where I would tap down here to sign into my account that I've already created. But we don't have an account yet so we have to create an account. So I'm going to tap on create account and it's going to walk me through what I need to enter here. So my first name, tap on last name. On my keyboard, I hit the next button. Ask me to enter my email address. So I'm going to use my email address that I use for all demos. I'm going to tap on the next button. I have to enter a password. Remember that uh, passwords are case sensitive. Uh, so make sure when you type in a capital letter that you indicate that on the piece of paper that you're going to write your password down on. 
So your password has to be at least usually anywhere from seven to, in this case, seven to a hundred characters, but we'll make ours, you know, eight or 10 characters. It's going to have to include a capital letter, a number, and in some cases, a special character. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a password that I want for my account. Before I hit create account, it's very, very important that I deselect this checked box here. I want to make sure that that is not checked. Otherwise, I am going to get a ton of junk mail and spam from Walmart. So make sure you deselect that button before you hit create account. I'm going to tap on create account. And my account has been created. I'm going to hit not now. And I am good to go. Before I wrap up today's video, I would like to tell you about the wonderful folks over at Lifespan. Lifespan provides information, guidance, and more than 30 services for older adults and their caregivers in the Rochester, New York, and Monroe County area. If you are over 60 and have questions, concerns, or need assistance, please call Lifespan at 585-244-8400 or visit their website, Lifespan dash r o c h dot org thanks so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed this video if you need more information on group or private in-home instruction please visit my website at danielteaches.com or you can call me at 585-902-8450 or email me at daniel at danielteaches.com